as Val Weghorst is back, oh. um, of course, on loan from Burnley. Was at Besiktas, United sort the deal, and he's now heading to Old Trafford. Gabby, you're very opinionated today, Mr. Marcotti. What do you make of this move? I have no problem whatsoever with this with this move. Uh, Val Weghorst is a guy. Uh, he's a big, strong center forward. He's a different profile from uh, the other striking options that, that Manchester United have. Um, he's obviously a guy that, you know, we can make a joke about, oh, look, it's another Dutch guy. Guys play to the Dutch league. Ha, ha, ha. But Ten Hag's obviously comfortable with that. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. You're there for six months. If he's terrible, he's not going to play. Um, and then he'll be gone and he'll be somebody else's issue. If, if, he, can give you, if he can give you minutes, uh, if he can give you production, you've got a lot of good wingers who can put the ball into the box. Um, why not Vakehorst? I, I don't, you know, you're not signing him to be your future. You're not signing him to be a, star, a starter. You're signing him to be a patch. And I think you can do that. We had a question on extra time a couple of days ago, Ali. Over under five goals? For Vakehorst? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over. Ooh. I think it's going to be a situational striker for Manchester United. And much like he was for the Netherlands in the World Cup, which he actually did fairly well. Now, if you're going to count on him to be the difference maker, I don't think that's the path and I don't think that's the right approach. But a guy that can come in late in a match when you're chasing something, that can hold the ball up, that can maybe run for you and cover some spaces for you, I think he'll be able to do that, get on the end of set pieces. Yeah, I'm going to say over five goals. Oh, how, would, how did you deal with six foot six strikers back in the day, Frank? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear what you said. Sorry, Dan. Again? He's six foot six, similar to me, sort of build, kind of big, you know, target man. How, you? how did you deal with that as a defender? <laughs> oh, with you, I can deal with that. I can put you in my pocket and that's fine, you know, with uh, with Vergos, you know. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be trickier, that's for sure, you know. I played against Dublin, against Quinn, against some others, you know. Uh, those players are very tough. You know, you have to try to to anticipate and try to go around them and uh, not allowing them to have some too much space, especially, especially on corner kicks for headers. So you, you try you to deal to trick a little bit and, and pray that it works. Good, praying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Gav mentioned it. Uh, Mudrick linked to Chelsea briefly, but it all seemed to be about Arsenal. And reports are suggesting that this is almost a done deal. Uh, 70 million euros, Gav, that's a lot huh? of money. It's a lot of money. The asking price was 100 million before. It, it, it's sort of a, a, a big upside situation. Uh, you know, Jules told us today that uh, they said, oh, but look, but Antony went for 100 million. Grealish went for 100 million. You know, that's how we view Mudrik. Um, I, obviously, Arsenal are, are talking the price down, which I think is reasonable for them. Um, you know, it is a big step up. I think it's somebody who you don't necessarily uh, expect to contribute straight away. Um, but that's the good news if you're Arsenal. You know, you already have wingers. You've got Saka, you've got Martinelli, uh, you know, Smith Rowe is, is, is fit again. Uh, you don't need this guy, even if you are going to spend a ton of money on him, you don't need him to come in and be a major contributor uh, straight away. I think Chakta are in a position where they know the biggest interest has come from Arsenal. Nobody else is coming in to, to, to hijack this. Nobody else, or they don't necessarily believe um, that, that this is going to happen yet. Of course, there's a few weeks to go yet in January, but they certainly would like, if they are going to make a move, they, they would like to make the move uh, now in this transfer window rather than drag it into the summer. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.